Hi, my name's Travelling Jones from Green Screen Express in Warrington in the heart of Cheshire in the UK. More and more companies and individuals are now beginning to understand the importance of having video on the website in order to engage with the customers and the prospects. Did you know that when you have video on your website, people will stay up to five times longer? Wow, five times longer. So the question today is this, have you been asked to or are you considering being the spokesperson for your company, product or service on the video? Okay, well if the answer is yes, this video is just for you. Some people take to presenting to camera very quickly and easily. Others struggle just a little bit. What I want to do today is to run through some of the things that you can do to make your time in front of the camera more enjoyable and effective. You know, nerves will always get in the way of a good presentation, but this is mainly caused by poor preparation. You know, you know what you want to say and you've run it around in your head, but on the day, for some reason, your mouth won't engage with your brain. You, you don't know how to start and you can end up missing things out or you get the sequence wrong or you go off on one on a tangent. You know, you end up saying something totally different to what you really wanted to say. Now then, you must realise that all news readers and show presenters work with a teleprompter. What they're saying has been written out in advance for them. Even the Queen's speech is written out in advance. Don't be misled into thinking that all great speeches are off the cuff. They're not. They're all written out in advance. The easiest way to avoid the loss of continuity of what you want to say is for you to prepare your presentation in advance. Again, Let's not be misled into thinking that every time a professional TV presenter makes a presentation to camera that they get it right the first time. We know this isn't the case. We've all seen the programme on TV called It'll Be All Right on the Night or Bloopers. These are clips which are not used in the broadcast, but showing people failing, stuttering, forgetting their lines or something unexpected happens. So don't be too shocked or surprised when these things happen to you. It's, it's normal. Let me go through a few pointers which will help you to be fully prepared for your presentation to camera. The first thing we've got to look at is your content. Think about what it is that you want to say. Think about the message that you want to convey to the viewer. And think about presenting them or giving them information which will be useful to them. Very important. And the next thing I would tell you to do is to write it out. Write what you want to say in what I call talkies. That's using words that you would speak, not necessarily the words you would use if you were just writing out your message. Whatever your presentation may be about, do not waffle. Don't include irrelevant information and facts. If you need help in writing your script, that's a service which we offer, but I'm not gonna go into that now. I'll come back to that another time. The next thing you must do is practice. When you've written out your script, practice speaking it out loudly. Don't just read it, I'll say it again, practice speaking it out loudly and go over it many times as I said. Don't just read it, speak it out loudly. Then if you discover that there are phrases or words which you constantly trip up over, look at the paragraph or the sentence, the words that are causing you to stumble and do one of two things. Remove the sentence completely, just take it out, scratch it out, I'm not going to say that, or rewrite it using different words, using words that you can handle with ease. You know, you can practice your presentation by reading and speaking your script out loudly. And I'll keep saying this, but do it at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Now, being nervous can make people speak far too quickly and this leaves very little thinking time in between words and sentences. You don't want to do that. So again, practice reading your script and speaking it out slower and clearly. I'll repeat that for you. I can't say it enough times. Practice reading your script and speaking it out. Don't try to learn it. Make life easy by reading it. Get used to the words and phrases that you've written. Be prepared to make changes. Keep speaking it to get it perfect for you. This time, practicing will not be wasted. 
so that when you come to make your presentation in front of the camera, you will be ready. If you feel prepared, you'll feel confident. If you're prepared and confident, then you'll make a great presentation. Another thing I would recommend is that you record your presentation. If you've got a voice recorder on your mobile phone, use it. Read your script, speak it out loudly or whatever, and record it on your mobile phone. Play back your recording and listen to yourself. Do you sound natural? Are you speaking in the way that you would normally speak in company? Again, I call it talkies. Are you using words and phrases that you're familiar and comfortable with? It's also a good idea to add phrases like, you know, and just look at it this way. These little phrases can make your presentation more natural. If you need to make changes, that's okay. That's what your practice time is for. Some people say, oh, I don't like listening to the sound of my voice. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but if you want to make a good presentation as a camera, you've got to get used to it. You might not love the way you sound, but that's the way it is. You know, I'm not keen on the way I sound or look, but that's the way it is. Listen, what you're doing is preparing for a very important job. So don't be put off by anything that would prevent you from becoming camera ready. So back to your script. When you're happy with your script, we ask you to put it into a plain text file. You know, save as a plain text file. Notepad is great. And then email it to me at tj at greenscreenexpress.co.uk. Now you should be camera ready. When you arrive at our studio, the first thing we want is for you to be calm and relaxed. We're not going to rush you. You know, if you know what you're going to say, if you've written it out, if you practice speaking it, then it'll be much easier for you. Time spent preparing and practicing, reading and speaking from your script and making those changes is far more valuable than any time spent in front of the camera making it up and trying to fix it as you go along. The last thing I want to speak to you about is our script aid. In our green screen studio, we have a script aid. Some people call it a teleprompter, but ours is a script aid. And that puts your script up on the screen in front of the camera. So as you look at the camera, your script is on the screen in front of you, and you can read it. The camera is positioned behind the screen, um, which means that it's there in front of you. You're looking at the script and reading it and speaking it, and you're also looking at the camera behind the screen. Clever stuff, eh? Hey. Now, having a script there in front of you makes it easy for you. And because you've practiced, rehearsed, and spoken your script out loudly, you will have prepared and removed any words and phrases which may have caused you to stumble. And as I've said before, I can't say it enough times, practice. And just as you practice before coming to the studio, we set up the script aid and you can spend time in the studio speaking your script out loudly and practicing it in front of the script aid. We, you know, we, we won't rush you. Just take your time. If you need any changes to the script, we can do them for you. We'll help you to find the pace which suits you best and which is right for the viewer. And then, when you're ready, happy and comfortable, we switch on the camera to record you. And now, here you are now, making your presentation to camera. So you start with a smile, speak clearly and with confidence, and take your time. Don't be tempted to divert away from your script and then try to jump back to the script. Stick to your script. And if you do stumble or slip up, who cares? I just say, start again. No rush, no dramas. So we'll take a break, we can have a coffee and try again. And we'll offer you the opportunity of recording it many times over. You know, if you're prepared and confident, then you'll make a great presentation. We want your time spent with us in front of the camera, making your presentations to be a good experience for you. No, we want it to be a great experience for you. Now, I hope this information has helped you. If you have any questions or concerns, call me on 07956 853221 and I'll talk you through them. And if you're in Warrington or just passing through and want to meet up and have a chat over a coffee, give me a call on 07956 853221 or email me at tj at uk. Call in to see you soon. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Oh, before you go, I thought that I should tell you that this was recorded in front of our script aid using the script which I prepared in advance. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Bye now.